Yeah, football was a big thing in my life because yeah, yeah. I come from a big football family. Yeah, yeah. Um, my dad and my uncle were these big time football stars. Um, my dad is Tom Tweeney. My my uncle is Mark Tweeney. Um, a lot of people know my uncle for playing for the Dallas Cowboys. Mm -hmm. That's how the yeah, he so won the Super Bowl, yeah? Yeah, he won uh, three Super Bowls, two Pro Bowls, played about 15 years. This was back in the 90s with, yeah. with, with, when the Cowboys was, was good. <laughs> yeah, you know, they had uh, Emmitt Smith, Troy Aikman, uh, Michael Irvin. Um, but yeah, that, so football runs deep. My dad played for the Detroit Lions mm -hmm. and then ended up playing for the Edmonton Eskimos in Canada. Um, but yeah, so my whole life I was kind of, you know, I wanted to follow in their footsteps but their feet were bigger than mine they're, <laughs> no, yeah, they're like literally six, five, physically literally, yeah literally bigger <laughs> couldn't fit the shoes so That's i had funny. to wear slippers instead and yeah. be a comedian awesome uh, well let's get into your whole life story i like to start all at the beginning where are you from where are you grad and what was it like growing up um this is this is weird i don't really know where i'm from because we moved around a lot oh. growing up so i'll explain my so my dad's side of the family is from wainai mm -hmm. wainai side Tons of family there. My mom's side of the family is from Kaneohe side, east side. A lot of family there. I would say we lived both areas. Uh, um, and then uh, most of my childhood, we lived in Ever Beach. Mm -hmm. So I think I would claim Ever Beach. But it really okay. depends who's asking. Yeah, yeah. You know, if, <laughs> one, if one big Salt Lake guy asks you, hey, bro, where are you from? Oh, why not? Why? Yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but if you like impress someone oh i'm from kailua yeah, yeah. yeah like swim in my pool yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. yeah. but i would say i would say ever beach I, most of my friends is from there my childhood friends um but uh but but now i live in wainai mm -hmm. so recently got a house in wainai congrats yeah uh, thank you yeah yeah, yeah. it's one um one one stu one bedroom studio on the beach camping tent. Nice. What? One point two mil. <laughs> one point two mil. Oh, congrats! Uh, yeah. Yeah. Nice camping tent. Ocean view though. Ocean view. Utility not included though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's so funny. No, yeah, but it. I mean, it, that's the only affordable places now is on. on I, the... I just I just saw a post and I talked about it on one of the other podcasts. Yeah. It's like the median income i think for like certain places like hawaii kai was the highest 1.7 million honolulu oh. was like 1.2 yeah why and i think was like nine hundred thousand or something yeah, yeah. Eva it's beach getting was up like there the, the or was it why and i ever beach was the the cheapest at like six hundred thousand. yeah something like that it's getting up there but a lot of people yeah. are moving that west side too now so yeah um i mean yeah it's i mean it's hawaii you know you're living in paradise yeah yeah it's a sacrifice yeah but well, we do have a lot of family there uh, like my my parents are like five minutes away, and uh, Rachel's parents is like five minutes away too. Yeah, so. Yeah, so it works out. So yeah, so it works out. Yeah, good, especially with the baby too. So yeah, so um, you 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 went to Punahou, right? Yeah, sorry, Punahou. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So you so got Punahou. Punahou High School. Uh, were you there? Twenty fourteen. Were you a lifer, or were you just high school, or um, uh, just from high school. Just from high yeah, school. Yeah. Where were you before that? Uh, so Ever Beach Elementary. Okay. Well, actually. Ben Parker Elementary in Kanoe. Oh, okay. And then when we moved to Ever Beach, Ever Beach Elementary, and then Ilima Intermediate. And then I, I uh, applied for uh, Puno. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. I and applied for Campbell too, but I never get in. <laughs> Campbell, yeah. That was, it's tough. Wasn't, tough wasn't, the wasn't dark enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they saw your last name and then you came in, but they were like, Yeah. <laughs> is, is that right, guy? That's how I thought I got, I got in from Puno too. They seen my, my name. Because my whole name is. Uh, Tumo o tasi tuine. They're like, yeah. So they're like, oh, this is one. Oh, this is one. Six foot seven, Sony. Yeah. We got to recruit. They're like, hey, sure, this guy wasn't trying for a kahuku or? <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. <laughs> like, we got him. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. But yeah, Punahou, um, class of 2014, 11 and 0 state champs. Yeah. That's the year we took it all. <laughs> I don't know why your guy was saying I was from Milan. <laughs> we actually beat Milan. <laughs> Maybe that's what it was. Maybe that's what it was. He was, yeah. he was hoping he was <laughs> playing for them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but how was it over there? How was the the going from public school to private school? It was a uh, it was a tough transition, you know. Mm -hmm. So what, what school did you go to? Uh, so I went Hawaiian Immersion on the Big Island. Okay. But my senior year of high school, I moved to Oahu and I played for Kaiser. So Kaiser. I, I'm a Kaiser grad, but I only went there one year. Oh, you played? You played? I football? played football and oh, soccer. Okay. Yeah, I was D line. Linebacker, D line linebacker, yeah, 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 yeah. of course. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then kick her on the side and. Hey, Kaiser is yeah. Kaiser is the public puno. <laughs> exactly, right? it's the we same colors, just a little bit faded. Well, I remember, <laughs> <laughs> I remember your post. You know, like um, I went to Kaiser. Of course, I didn't get into puno. Of course, I didn't get into puno. Yeah, that's all the Hawaii Kai kids. Who, yeah, yeah, the 
It is like the the richest public school. It is. It is. Yeah. It is. No, because I so I I moved there. My grandma had got a house in the seventies over there, so it was like one of like a regular house, you know. So it's, I tell people I'm like, oh yeah, you know what a rich nice house is on the mountains. Like yeah, we live under that the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I didn't even know when I came here that like Kauai Kai was like the the nice like the rich oh, really? part of the island because like our house was normal. Yeah. And I'd come in the summers to visit. So I moved there. I didn't. I didn't realize like where I was living until I was in college and you introduce yourself like, hey, what's up? I'm Kyoki from Y&I. I'm, yeah. you know, Sarah from, you know, Honolulu. I'm Kamaka. I live in uh, Hawaii Kai. They're like, Hawaii Kai? <laughs> oh, but, but I'm from Hilo. <laughs> it's like, depends who you're talking to now. So I'm just like... Exactly what I say. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I asking. live all... But I'm from Hilo. <laughs> yeah, I'm from <laughs> Hilo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's how it was. Wait, so did you have to commute? For for Punahou? Yeah. Oh, so... so when I got into Punahou, so we were living in Eva Beach. Mm-hmm. So my first year, my freshman year at Punahou, we would drive from Eva Beach uh, oh, to town. Yeah, so we would leave like at 4.30 in the morning. Oh, that's brutal. My dad would drop me off uh, before he heads, heads to work. And uh, I remember like it would be pitch black, be yeah. the only kid there. Oh, know. dang. Um, but had some 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 other guys do big commutes too, yeah, like yeah. some football players. Um, and then so 10th grade, uh, we decided to move near uh Punahou. so we got a we got a, we were in an apartment um in manoa oh, okay nice. so i would walk to school it was like literally like across oh, wow. the street yeah that's so, so awesome i would walk to school and then when i went then i went to uh university of hawaii uh yeah and we kind of just stayed there a little bit and then my sophomore year in college then um my parents moved back to to wainai okay yeah yeah oh we probably overlapped at uh because i was there from 2011 to 2016 Oh yeah. yeah, I was yeah, there so from 2014 to 2018. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. But I guess when when you were there, I was. I think I seen you at Campus Center, cutting <laughs> in line. <laughs> what, at Subway or Jamba Juice? Which Jamba one? Jamba Juice. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. Hey, you know that dream machine, the orange dream machine. I gotta get it. <laughs> That's funny. But um, yeah, UH was fun. I I wish. I mean, this is no shade on the. Fo- I wish I was at UH during the time when we were like. We had Colt Brandon, like oh the, yeah, the, the, the peak golden years of UH because yeah. we didn't really have much pride for the the athletic team yeah. or like the football team. You'd go to tailgate, you know, people just go yep. there to party, not even go to the game sometimes. Yeah. But my, I, I always think that like it would have been so awesome if you're we back in like, 07, yeah, 07. Because yeah. I remember when I was a, a kid, uh, I loved UH. Yeah, you know, love Colt Brandon, you know, uh, Jason Rivers, Jason Rivers, Nate Ilawa. yeah. Um, all those Devon guys. Best. Devon Best. Yeah. They had a stacked team. Mm-hmm. And I remember watching the games every week, you know, and uh, almost almost every game would be sold out at Los Angeles. Yeah. And I heard they treated Cole Brennan like a god on campus. Yeah. He had to get shuttled to lunch because, <laughs> That's crazy. because the students would would stop him to take pictures and yeah. and autographs and stuff. Totally. Yeah. So you had what, Cole, Cole McDonald? Was that the? Cole program? McDonald, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Was that John Arsua's year too? John Arsua was there. Yeah. Um, oh, so you guys were pretty good. Yeah, yeah, we had we had our I, every year we had like a different head coach. Yeah. Um. Oh, first my when I first got recruited was with Norm Chow, mm-hmm. and then uh, after my freshman year he got he got let go, and then oh yeah that's right then then Rolovich came in yeah yeah okay. but there was an in between where they had an interim head coach where they had someone from the staff yeah yeah just kind of do that. But then, but then every year we would have a new defense because our defensive coordinator kept getting fired. <laughs> so that's why I think the problem was because uh, we didn't have like a home base mm-hmm. defense. We had to study a new playbook every time. So it's tough. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then were you put into football at an early age? Because you know you're. Oh yeah, your from when I was young, like and everything, yeah. six or seven years old, started off with flag and yeah. then just played like every year. Always Literally. on the defense side. Offense too. Okay. When I was younger. And then, QB, um, sixth grade QB, two more. Now it's running back. <laughs> 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 nice. Running back and and defense, but I, I I love defense more. Yeah. And um, I think it's easier to get recruited for defense too. Mm-hmm. So um, stuck with that. Punahou, I just played defense. Yeah. And you were good, right? You were like all all. State. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had had some had some <laughs> ups and downs. But yeah, yeah I started I started uh the la- my last three years. So sophomore, junior, senior. Mm-hmm. And then um, I had offers to go like smaller schools, um, D1 double A's, uh, NAIA, but no D1. The only D1 I had looks was like uh, preferred walk-ons. Oh, okay. I don't know if you know what that is. Uh, I mean, I know, I know what a walk-on is. So is it just the, 
your preferred like yeah let's just a honey higher... gold instead of this yeah just a <laughs> higher like a like a, <laughs> like a higher way to yeah, say yeah. it i guess <laughs> a nicer way i think the uh, preferred walk-on versus a walk-on like walk-on you just you truly just try it out and you don't know if you're gonna yeah. make it preferred walk-on they're like they're saying okay we have a spot for you but you gotta pay your way oh okay so i get yeah. it so preferred walk-on is like a preferred seat on hawaiian airlines walk-on is like southwest you just choose your seat or 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 or, or stand by, yeah, and you you just gotta hope if you're, you're, yeah, yeah. Hope, your your sponsor is up seats. on the list. Yeah, there you <laughs> go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay, that's cool. pretty much it. So I had a I had a preferred walk on for for UH, um, and I, that was my 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 goal was to play mm -hmm. at UH because that's where my dad played, and I always wanted to play in front of my family mm -hmm. back at home. Um, so I did that, walked on, um, did okay, ended up earning a scholarship with Rolovich my junior year um mostly played special teams i was like fit string mm -hmm. on uh, at, they moved me to safety um mm -hmm. fit string the only time i got in the game is when we were winning by 45 points <laughs> but that never happened for 45 years <laughs> so i never play <laughs> no but i did travel i was on the traveling team um if you don't know what traveling team mean, means is uh like let's say the whole team is like about roughly 105 players uh, they take like 68 players on the road mm -hmm. to travel. Um, so they took me cause I was on, I started like on kickoff, kick return and a punt, punt few times. Mm -hmm. So, uh, like going under gunners. Yeah. 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 So it was good to just, you know, run down the field, hit somebody yeah, yeah. and just get like four plays every game. <laughs> and, but it was fun. I enjoyed it. You mm -hmm. know, um, football is a game of life. It teaches you a lot of life lessons, mm -hmm. teaches, teaches you integrity and, and not to give up, you mm -hmm. know? So. Yeah. That, that would always stick with me is football awesome yeah i I feel like i've learned so much from sports in general oh yeah more than like the classrooms more yeah. than you know anything that i've learned on paper yeah 100 yeah. percent. 